Welcome to my YouTube channel, a library of seven. Good evening, dear students. In this lecture, I am going to solve the seventh assignment of fluid mechanics. This assignment is related to dimensional analysis. So you can see first question is the Euler's number E suffix L is written as generally Euler's number is ratio of inertia force to pressure force. So it is the ratio of inertia force to pressure force. So first of all we will calculate what is inertia force. Inertia force F i is equal to mass into acceleration. Mass is m. Acceleration is equal to velocity by time. So that is equal to mass is density into volume. So rho volume is in terms of length parameter. I am writing volume is L cube. And V I rewrite it as same and T is same. So that is V I can also write as length by time. So that is length divided by time square. So you will get rho L square by T square into L square. So this entire term L square by T square we can rewrite it as rho L square V square. Clear? So this is the inertia force. Now coming to pressure force. Fp is equal to pressure force P is the pressure into area. Area in terms of length I can write it as P L square. So substitute these Fi and Fp values in the this equation. Em is equal to rho L square V square divided by pressure P into L square. So we will get an expression V square by P by rho. So under root. So that is equal to Em is equal to V divided by P by rho. Okay. So this will be the answer. So now for this question the answer is option D. Coming to next question. Dynamic similarity exists when the model and the prototype have the same. Okay, so to analyze this question, we need to classify what are all the similarities that exist between model and a prototype. So the first similarity is geometric similarity. So this geometric similarity corresponding to length dimensions between model and a prototype must be same. So length dimension between model and prototype are same. So the corresponding length of a model to the corresponding length of the prototype the ratio must be same. If the ratio must be same in all the dimensions, in along all the directions, so then that type of similarity we say it is geometric similarity. Now coming to second type of similarity is kinematic similarity. So kinematic similarity is the velocity in the model divided by velocity in the prototype must be same. So if the ratio of velocities of model and prototype, not only velocity, acceleration also same. So that is velocity and acceleration between model and a prototype are same. Then we say it is kinematic similarity exists. Now coming to last one, dynamic similarity. So dynamic similarity gives the information regarding force developed in the model to the force developed in the prototype. If, if this ratio is also same, we say that dynamic similarity existed, provided dynamic similarity requires the similarity of geometric, the similarity of kinematic. If the similarity of geometric and kinematic exist, then only there is a chance of existence of dynamic similarity. So option length scale ratio this is geometric similarity velocity scale ratio kinematic similarity and force scale ratio dynamic similarity. So dynamic similarity will possible only when there is just a 
geometric similarity as well as kinematic similarity. In that case only dynamic similarity will exist. So for the question number 2, option D will be the answer. Now coming to assuming the thrust T, he has given T as the thrust and D is the diameter and V is the speed of the advance and omega is angular velocity and mu is dynamic viscosity and rho is density. So based on all these parameters he has given diff four different terms. Which of the following four terms are dimensionless parameters? Clear? So now I am writing first term. This is something like we can decide by checking the options. So the first option is T divided by rho d square v square. So if you will substitute T is a thrust. Thrust it is if force. So the units of force are Newton. I will write that Newton into basic units force F is equal to ma. M is equal to kg. A is equal to meter per second square. This is the unit of numerator and rho is equal to kg per meter cube and d square is equal to l square v square is equal to v is equal to meter per second it is velocity that is meter square divided by second square so you just cancel all this you will get one so kg kg cancel and meter square and here meter cube one meter here meter square divided by second square so you will get finally it is a dimensionless number So, you will get one dimensionless number and coming to second option, it is mu v d divided by rho. So, for this you will get by substituting the base values meter power 4 divided by second square. It is not a dimensionless number. Coming to third one, it is d, dub, d omega divided by v. d is equal to meter, omega is 1 by time. v is equal to meter per second. It is also dimensionless number. Coming to fourth one. V D rho divided by mu. This is also dimensionless number. So out of all given dimension number numbers are 1, 3, 4. So option C will be the correct answer. I haven't done anything new in this question. The basic thing is you need to substitute the basic units with respect to their terms. Then you will get which is a dimensionless term, which is not a dimensionless term. Okay. So option C for question number 3. Coming to question number 4, a dimensionless combination of pressure drop. So, pressure drop is delta P and dynamic viscosity is mu and velocity is V and length is L. So, you just check option A, it is delta P mu L divided by V. So, delta P, it is a pressure, it is Newton per meter square and dynamic viscosity Newton second per meter square. And L is equal to length, it is meter, divided by velocity is equal to meter per second. So, is there any numerator and denominator getting cancelled? So, it is not a dimensionless number. Coming to second one, D. Delta P divided by mu V L. Delta P is Newton per meter square. Mu is Newton second per meter square. V is meter per second. And L is meter. So, Newton per meter square, Newton per meter square cancel. Second, second cancel. And here you will get it is 1 by meter square. It is also not a dimensionless number. So, coming to C, delta P L divided by mu V. Delta P is Newton per meter square, L is meter. And mu is equal to Newton second per meter square. And V is equal to meter per second. Newton per meter square, Newton per meter square cancel, meter, meter cancel, second, second cancel. So, the numerator dimensions are 0, denominator dimensions are 0. So, completely it is a dimensionless number. So, answer C for question number 4. Coming to question number 5. If the same fluid is used in both model and prototype and it is desired to have equal Reynolds number and Froude's number, in the model and prototype, the scale of the model is. Obviously, when it is required to have both Reynolds number and Froude's number, the scale ratio should be 1. Okay. So, the answer C for question number 5. Coming to question number 6. Uh, so, for this question, 
horizontal scale ratio is 1 by 50 and vertical scale ratio is 1 by 75. So he asked the interval between daily high tides, successive daily high tides is obviously it is 25 minutes. Okay. And coming to question number 7. So a model test was conducted on a water tunnel using 1 by 20 model. 1 is to 20 model submarine which is used to travel speed 12 kmph. So now he has given scale ratio. So Lm divided by Lp that is equal to 1 by 20. And we know velocity scale ratio is equal to mu r divided by rho r into L r. That is this is mu r. Mu divided by rho will give you nu. Mu r divided by L r. So V model divided by V prototype is equal to new model divided by new prototype that into L prototype divided by L model. So you will we need to calculate V model. So he has given the prototype velocity and 1 by 2 into 20. So it is 10 V model is equal to 120 kmph. Okay. So the answer for question number 7 is D. Coming to question number 8, for a river model horizontal scale that is LH, LRH is equal to 1 by 250, LRV is equal to 1 by 25 and he has given some slope and velocity and discharge corresponding to uh, prototype. We need to calculate corresponding to model here. So we know the ratio. Q model divided by Q prototype is equal to LRH into LRV 12 power 1 by 2. So, model discharge is 0 0.02. We need to calculate prototype discharge. That is 1 by 250 into 1 by 25 12 power 3 by 2. So, you will get prototype discharge is 625. Okay, meter cube per second. And now, Velocity of model divided by velocity of prototype that is equal to LRV that is equal to 1 by 25. He has given velocity of model as 0 0.05 velocity of prototype. If you will calculate velocity of prototype it will be 0.25. So the answer will be D for question number 8. So you can solve all the assignment questions. Every assignment link in the fluid mechanics has been provided in the description below. Thank you.